Hello, Internet. Colin here, and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, I'm a sucker for a good romance. What can I say? And Valentine's Day is my 17th favorite holiday, so I thought today we'd celebrate by taking a look at one of the greatest on-screen couples of all time. That's right, Gomez and Morticia Adams. The Adams Family was a single-panel cartoon strip created by Charles Adams in 1938 that ran in the New Yorker magazine. It features the family getting up to dark, spooky, or mysterious things, and that's kind of the punchline how they don't fit in with modern society. In 1966, the comics were turned into a live-action TV show by ABC. This is the show that gives us that great finger-snapping theme song we all know and love, and the amazing cast really helps to cement the personalities of these characters. The show ran for two years and went head-to-head -head with The Munsters, which was over on CBS. They were kind of competing shows at the time. Now, I personally prefer The Addams Family, though I love The Munsters as well. And the reason I like The Addams Family better is because of its tone and themes. The Addams Family were so inclusive. Even though they were into gothic, spooky, or otherwise weird things, they didn't really care about what society thought or felt about them. They just wanted to be friendly and just inclusive to anybody that comes by. Another reason is the absolutely wonderful relationship between Gomez and Morticia Adams. Gomez, played by John Astin, and Morticia by Carolyn Jones, are absolutely wonderful in their roles both apart and together. When they're together, they have amazing on-screen chemistry, and the characters are not hesitant to show just how much they love one another. They're constantly kissing, constantly saying just how wonderful the other is, what they love about the other person. They kind of wear their emotions on their sleeves instead of hiding it away behind some weird, chaste, PG or G-rated type of stuff. These two, you can tell, are absolutely on fire for the other one, and I absolutely love it. All right, guys, so let's get right into the drawing then. Alright, since I want this to be kind of a Valentine's Day card in a weird sense, I'm starting out by kind of just measuring out the center line and a couple of other random little areas I need to do just so I can put a nice heart right in the center. You see I'm using the compass there for those upper areas. And while it's not perfect, it at least allows me to get the, the gist of it in. Now, Gomez and Morticia are going to be inside there, so I'm going to draw on the figures really rough. This, I took the reference from a shot from the show where she's kind of cradling his neck. I thought it looked very romantic. Uh, you know, I, I just figured it would work perfectly for this, this drawing. So once I get the figures roughed in there, I'll go over this again and again. You're going to see on the top and the bottom of the heart, there's going to be some text and a couple little gothic areas, some skulls, cobwebs, stuff like that. Now the quote I'm using, I'm taking from a season one episode, Halloween with the Adams family. Um, and in it, uh, basically, uh, Morticia says to Gomez, uh, every night with you, or when we're together, darling, every night is Halloween. I admitted the darling just so, uh, you know, it, it could be given to anybody. I still feel the sentiment works. When we're together, every night is Halloween. I don't know. I think that's pretty romantic. Uh, but that is assuming that you think Halloween is as awesome and wonderful and perfect as I think it is. Like I said before, Valentine's Day is my uh, 17th favorite holiday. Well, Halloween is definitely number one. Plus, it keeps with that nice, dark, spooky, gothic atmosphere that the Adams do so well at. I'm going to start in by coloring that heart in with the um, warm gray. I'm doing all warm grays for this drawing, just like the TV show. That's a warm gray number seven there. Nice and dark, but not completely black or, or too much because there's going to be a lot of dark in uh, Morticia's outfit there and just stuff around the edge, but pretty dark. And I gave some nice, uh, I don't know, gothic, spooky, perhaps little little areas of interest around the heart there, those little swirlies and spikes and things like that. 
going in, I'm going to start coloring in the skin. Uh, this is a, a, a very difficult area to do, especially on Morticia, who has a incredibly pale skin. So it's very hard to get the uh, lines of uh, Carolyn Jones's face just right, the shadows for the cheekbones and stuff like that, without making them too bold. Uh, I did my best here, guys. I mean, I, I, I really tried. I hope it turns out okay, but... Uh, it's, it's a little harsher than I would have liked in some areas. You really got to watch with these and make sure you're, you're using, um, extremely, extremely, uh, light markers. Now I had thought like a warm gray number one would be light enough to do like the, uh, shadows on her cheekbones there. And I wish I would have went with a warm gray zero or even a warm gray, uh, double zero, even lighter. Uh, than that. But hey, you know, it, it is what it is. We're going to erase there so we can get a lot of that lead off. I did the best I could, but it was it was pretty thick and start adding in the darkest areas of our drawing. As you can see, those little gothic skulls with the bat wings and some swirlies there. I kind of want to make this look almost like a tombstone, if that makes any sense. Like this could be carved on a tombstone. Uh, a couple of my markers ran out and you'll see me throughout the video refill them, but I'm going to use warm gray number three there to fill in that background, pretty much go over everything. We're going to define a little better when we get to the inking stage. Now, um, a lot of drawings I would take to making that absolutely smooth. I kind of like the effect that the marker gave where there's little bits of puddles of darker areas and lighter areas there kind of gives it some interest, almost like a watercolor. And I really dug that effect. All right, we're into the inking now where I'm going to start by going around that uh, heart area and all the little details. We'll do the text, of course, last. I know you can't see it there on the video or you might be able to if you look closely. But when I was drawing, I could definitely see um, where the text used to be there. And I'll even go back in with a pencil over top of the uh, markers here and uh, just take a look, you know, to get that done nicely. Uh, just some, just some lines. So I know what I'm doing. This is kind of a pain in the butt part going around this heart. I have to say, especially on the other side, normally I rotate my drawings around, but when on camera here, I try to keep them absolutely, uh, centered and still. And, uh, that means that some of these lines are harder to get than others. That's for sure. But either way, I think Mortish is coming along. Well, I think her hair turned out really well here. Uh, they had that for Morticia in the show, that incredibly jet black hair, uh, along with that slinky jet black dress she wore, uh, very appealing. And I have to say it's uh, a look that has definitely gone, uh, in our pop culture conscious, I guess. Uh, a lot of people try to, to get that look, that extremely pale, almost vampiric look. And I think, uh, Morticia Adams, though she wasn't the first, you have people like Vampira and, uh, you know, uh, old vampires from movies and stuff like that. Uh, I think Morticia has definitely helped solidify that look. Now we're going in with the text here. When we're together, every night is Halloween. I just kind of freehanded the font there. I figured, eh, what the heck? Uh, you know, not a, not a huge deal with this one. Uh, you could take your time and make it absolutely pitch perfect, but I don't know how much that would do. I'm going to go in with the, uh, with the, um, Copic multi-liner here. Just add some interest, little areas where the uh, stone has eroded and stuff like that. You'll see that coming up. And with the white gel pen, I'm adding in cobwebs here and uh, some other areas of interest, highlights and stuff like that, especially in their hair and uh, whatnot. Here we go in and make that stone look like it's kind of eroded there. Just kind of fill in some gaps that were left. I think this one turned out pretty good, you guys. And uh, what a Valentine. Could you imagine getting this in the mail? So romantic. I can't even believe it. All right, guys, let's uh, finish up by coloring in the face a little more, smoothing it out. Uh, and then we'll get to sign it. And let's take a look here at the scan. 
All right, guys, I think this one turned out really cool. I had a lot of fun doing the warm grays there. It's always good to do these black and white ones every now and again. And uh, celebrating the Adams family was a ton of fun. You know, if you've never seen it, I can highly recommend it and say seek it out. The DVDs are pretty cheap, and I think you can find them on various streaming services. Uh, if you have seen The Adams Family before, well, maybe Valentine's Day is the right time to snuggle up with that special someone and rewatch it. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, guys. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Markers and Monsters. Thank you so much for watching. And whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day, whether it's going out with your longtime sweetheart or just staying in yourself and watching The Addams Family, I hope whatever you're doing, you really enjoy it and have a great day. Till the next episode, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, okay, the Addams Family. The house is a...